that's what's left The thorns we chase are leading us And love is all we'll ever trust back with season 5 episode 20 of Genshin Impact. Anyways, get into the game because so much to do, it's a little time to do so. Okay, so last episode we finally finished the main story for the chasm. We spent a lot of time working on an annoying quest, a side quest called A Cliffside Hero's Past, which yeah. Anyways, uh, we also got to play Minesweeper, so there was that. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we also started and finished part 7 of Tatar Tales, so we only have one part left to go, but that's not going to be for a few episodes. Well, unless I work my schedule uh, differently. I don't know. Okay, it might even be next episode, 
or it might be a few episodes from now, I'm not sure, uh, for part 8, for the final part of Tatar Tales Quest, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see, you never know. Uh, and then we also, at the end of last episode, finally continued working on Chapter 2, Act 4, which is the Traveler's Quest. So, that's where we're at right now, and we're currently in the Upside Down City of Atlantis. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, not Atlantis. <laughs> but anyways, we're now in the Upside Down City in the Nameless Ruins in the Chasm, so, yeah. Also, we have to look for a waypoint around here somewhere, because there's supposed to be a waypoint here somewhere. But anyways, uh, some shocking revelation news that we learned at the end of last episode, that apparently the Hilly Churls are apparently... Uh, originally from the place, K uh, Ken, Kara, Karaya, Kenraya, um, Karaya, I can't remember how you pronounce it now, uh, the pla place that had that great disaster, uh, 500 years ago, which is where Dean, Dane, whatever his name is, is from. And also the the knights we've been seeing, they're also from that place. Where the same place I fully believe that the Traveler and Paimon are from, but yeah. Anyways, let's let's move on and also follow this wisp. Cause you always gotta follow a wisp a day. It helps keep the treasures at bay. Okay, no, that, that made that made no sense. I'm sorry, bad joke. I screwed that up. Anyways, moving on. And yeah, hey, well, there it is. We aren't seeing any more black serpent knights. Guess that half damn guy really did recognize Captain Ding, huh? It's an upside down waypoint. You know, I didn't think it would actually be upside down. I knew there was gonna be one in the city, but I just di I didn't know it was gonna be upside down. That's insane. Into the depths. Wow. That's crazy. Okay, well at least the good news is we finally, finally got all the teleport waypoints in the chasm in its underground mines. Yay! Because there's four more things left to do. Get the lamp to the highest level. Uh, complete more time trials, which I'll be doing that off camera. Open more chests, also off camera, and follow. Uh, well, both on camera and off camera. Um, and follow more wisps, which again, both on camera and off camera. Which actually, I think that's the last one for these two. So basically, if we can find the others. Well, wait, I already know where one of them's at. Um, means I still need to find two more. Well, you know what? Either way, probably be gotten off camera, but uh, one of these days we'll have that right there. Yeah. Anyways, moving on. Hey, more hilly chores. Okay, so this is twenty-two out of twenty-four. That means we know we're twenty-three out of twenty-four. Oh, so that means I. I only need to find one more then after that. Ooh, well then that's gonna make it a lot easier because one of the hilly trolls, or not hilly trolls, what am I saying? Wisps, I meant to say wisps. Uh, one of the wisps is down there. But anyways, here's the hilly trolls. More hilly trolls, and they look really well protected. Okay, where am I going? Did I forget to mark this on the... I think I did. Also, what's all this? Huh. Yeah, we need to eventually tend to all that. Eventually! Uh, okay, Chapter 2, Act 4. There we go. No, no, no! Ooh. Oh, 
<gasps> Ooh, I see it. We all see it. We definitely all see it. Aha! Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. An answer from this world? Yes. I'll gladly take that. Okay, now let's just not fall. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, that just happened. Hey, where's that wisp? There, so that means the one collectible should be over here. Because there was a... Oh, hello. Wow, that cleansed the area. Is this an answer from this world? And he's alive again. Or he's awake. And he's angry. He's ticked. He's whoa! Judge that. I know we shouldn't be down here, we should be up above. Hey, another one of these things. Oh! Okay, another collectible up there. Wait, which side do we come from? I guess that's on the opposite side. Spider. Now, was Spidey hiding anything? No, just simply just being there. Being a nuisance. Okay, another time thing over there. Where? Okay, there's the wisp, but where's the uh, the collectible? There should have been a should have been a collectible right around here somewhere. Oh, uh, we saw it when we were up above. How am I not seeing this? <laughs> this does not make any sense. I know what I saw. We saw it in the last episode. Oh, speaking of last episode, um, there was a name that popped up uh, at one point during the, the annoying quest I mentioned, and the character he was actually talking about was this character here. Part of that G clan or whatever it was. So, yeah, I knew the name seemed familiar, but I wasn't quite sure, and yeah, turns out it's because we had the character. What the... Oh, maybe I saw that thing. No, couldn't have. I know what I saw. I saw a collectible. I guess we're going up. Have I even been over here? I don't think I have.
I'm getting way too far off course. And just like that, we're back on course. Yep, I'm going insane, because I could have sworn the collectible was down there. Then again, you know, I didn't look at the map. I forgot to look at the mini-map. Maybe the mini-map would have proved it. Said, hey, it's not there, you stupid idiot. Alright, is there nothing in here? I guess not. Now, there is a collectible right near us here, up here, which we saw earlier. What the? Okay, looks like we can go up. Up again, we'll go there in a minute since we grab the collectible over here. And flip the switch. <gasps> oh, we need three more of these uh, purple orbs to open up this gate. What? Oh, you gotta be kidding. And I'm supposed to remember this? <laughs> the last three are. Wow. Whoa. What the? Uh-oh. Look. Up there. A water pool. I think I screwed up. Okay, this is weird how everything's upside down. Even the gravity is upside down up there. Even the water pool is upside down. must be part of the entire city structure. A relic of this ancient civilization. And more importantly, it is the very thing that is weakening the curse. Here, my whole body feels more at peace than it has in a long time. The effect is stronger here than it was before. And I think it's because that water pool has something akin to a cleansing effect. Cleansing? Away the curse for good? No, that would be impossible. How are you so sure? I have lived with this curse for 500 years, and I have been fully conscious the entire time. Suffice to say, no one understands the curse like I do. It is a way of branding us at the level of the fate of the world itself. When a god applies a curse, it takes effect at a higher level of reality than the person themselves. Even now, I can feel the curse slowly permeating my entire being, becoming part of me, slowly but surely replacing me. Perhaps it may be possible to suppress the corrosive effect of the curse for a time, but cleansing it entirely 
consider it tantamount to burning away an integral part of your body. It is not a process that one could ever hope to survive. Huh? Cleansing the curse cost you your life? Whoa. An irreversible curse. Paimon can't even imagine. In any case, I can feel that the water's cleansing effect is not nearly potent enough. At most, it might suppress the curse, but a little. Hmm. So, what's that contraption there? It looks kind of out of place. Uh, an abyss order device? Frankly, I have never seen a device of this design before either. It is not unreasonable to suspect that it could belong to the Abyss Order. But what could they be planning to do here? Well, that was creepy. Ah! Oh, that gave Paimon a fright! So, all the doors are open now? Ah! Halfdan's back again! Halfdan? Do you have something to say to me? He ran off! But he didn't disappear like last time. He's indicating that we should follow him. Are you coming? This could be a useful lead. True. So, uh, we going then? the quest uh, cold beer after a hard day I like how the quest line is still telling me to go down below <laughs> wow. all right we'll see more of that in a minute oh wait what am I doing going this way I'll just jump off the side Oh, wait a minute, no, it's telling me to go down there. Oh, so it's not telling me to go here anymore in this room. Which means I totally skipped some I totally skipped something here. I don't know what I skipped though, but I definitely skipped something. I hope it wasn't anything important. Maybe it was just useless chatter. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm a little concerned right now what I missed. I didn't even know it was possible to miss something. Well, if we truly did miss something important, sorry. 
I had no idea that was even possible. Maybe they were just gonna say something about like, oh, down over there. Let's follow him. um, oh, maybe let's try climbing up, see what we can find, blah blah blah. And there, I, I yeah, that that's probably what they were gonna say, and that's that. I mean, come on, you knew I was going to do this. However, I think it's been perfectly designed to where I can't go any higher. Because I can just, I even if I try glide from this, I, um, I'll miss that that spot there. I don't visually see a spot. Oh, 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 oh! Come on. I don't visually see a spot I can actually climb up. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I think I do see something now. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I might be able to get around this. And this is the ticket right here to recharge our stamina. But it's going to be really, really tricky though. And actually this is a secondary route. I actually saw something else right before I saw this one. A potential route if this one doesn't work. Which now I don't remember where it's at. Somewhere's... Oh, oh, it's the exact same thing, but it's just flipped. Okay, never mind. Nope, same route. Forget what I said. There's only the one. I mean, yes, you can do this, do this in the other spots. That's what I'm trying to say. And hello. Ah, oh, there we go. Come on. You can do it. Don't, don't oh, no, 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 no. Careful, careful. Uh, it feels like there's an invisible wall here. Come on. Yeah, ah! Fudge. Really? Really, game? Okay, maybe when I get to that one point, instead of trying to climb up on the in invisible uh, wall, or in this case, like, ceiling, <laughs> um, how about I try gliding over to the middle piece? Small chance might be high enough. Uh, can't even see it from here. Oh, come on. You know, 
I'm torn right now. Part of me wants to just keep trying, but the other part of me is like, nope, it's impossible. The invisible wall is kind of prove it. And also, the same part of me that says it's impossible is the same part that's saying I shouldn't be doing this, we should be moving on. You know. But that curious part of me is saying, I gotta try. I need to know. Oh, for crying out loud. Now, is it the... Yes, I'm using that. Is there any any of these that's different? If it wasn't for the invisible wall, we could totally make it. I almost would like to try that again later. But, again, like I just said... Whoa! For a split second, I could have sworn we just saw, like, through my character's head. That was probably the spookiest thing ever. Whatever lies ahead is what he wants us to see. Let's keep going. Wait, it wants us to go that way. What's over here? Oh, that's what's over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm The campaign begins. I'm switching. Yep. Just Yep. Isn't this the same one we fought? Oh, this is the same one we fought earlier. Can you give me an extra second to charge that? And he fell over. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, okay. I thought I lost them. Uh, is Raiden... Okay, she's good. Just what will we come across this? Uh, there's still that under area. The one route over there, I believe that's where I'm thinking of. Uh, there's still a, another area we haven't even gone down to yet. Is that way into the hilly trail camp? 
Let's go see. It's a humble hilly churl camp. Oh, these hilly churls look like they're in pretty bad shape, too. Some of them look like they've already taken their final breath. Is this what Afton wanted to show us? Whether it is or not, everything here is worth investigating in detail. Inspect the area. Leave no stone unturned. Seems like these hilly churls have no life left in them at all. Before long, they'll become one with the darkness. The hilly churls we meet in the wild are always so rowdy. Paimon never would have imagined that this is how they spend their final days. We may not have a whole lot of happy memories dealing with hilly churls, but still, Paimon hopes they're at peace in their last moments. You know, what I want to know is how do they explain it, um, lore wise, whenever we take on and beat up all these hilly churls? What? Is it like how most games like to pres uh, perceive it as like, oh, they were just knocked out. <laughs> they weren't actually killed. No, 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 no. They, they were knocked out and they're, they're, they're normally supposed to be laying there knocked out on the, on the ground. But, you know, they disappeared because of the game. Now, a lot of games like to do that. And I'm thinking that's probably the story here. Okay, part of this doesn't make any sense, because if these, if all these hilly churls come from the same area, and they all had the same curse upon them at the same time, then shouldn't their end all be at the same time? Since they're not, this is not in terms of normal aging. This is simply in terms of, well, I guess how they said their body decaying, but even so, then wouldn't all the hilly churl's bodies be decaying around the same time? There's even a bonfire here! Like what hilly churls built in the wild! Wait, but wasn't Dane saying that hilly churls get scared of the light when they reach the very end of their lives? Hmm. Maybe, in the very, very end, they still want to feel some I've seen this kind of flower before. Hey, now that you mention it, Hyman thinks it looks kind of familiar too. It is the national flower of Kanria, the Intivat. It once bloomed all over the nation. It would only last two weeks before wilting. But if you were to pluck one and take it out of Kanria, the petals would stop growing and turn hard. Only when it finally returned to its home soil would the petals grow soft once more, and finally turn to dust. How is that even possible? But okay, interesting story there. So the Intivat is a symbol for a wanderer far from home, signifying the tenderness of the homeland. That's the flower I've been wearing in my hair since I woke up, says the Traveler. Oh, you're kidding me. See? More proof that the travelers from, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, the, the place they've been talking about this whole time. Place in the past where he comes from, 500 years ago. <gasps> so, for this flower to get here, it must have been brought from her brother.
Your Highness. So the proposal finally has your blessing. In focusing single-mindedly on confronting the heavenly principles, we neglected our original mission. A revival of the homeland. I should not have been so indecisive. The device is almost ready. We await your command. What are the chances of succeeding? Theoretically speaking, approximately... Forget it. Even a 1% chance is enough. For too long have we dwelt in the Abyss. Surely they would rather return to the natural cycle of life and death as soon as possible than continue to exist as they are, without a shred of dignity. They cannot be made to continue paying the price for those so-called sins. The Order is most fortunate to be graced with your decision. You saw something, didn't you? Can you tell me what it was? Yeah, you zoned out for quite a while there. Huh. Well, people do say that twins have a special connection. It sounds as if they are attempting to make use of certain equipment to cleanse the curse. It could well be the device we saw earlier. And... You say he mentioned the revival of the homeland, correct? He said it was his mission. No surprise there. Stubborn as ever. It appears as if the Abyss Order plans to use this location to cleanse the Hilly Churls of their curse and restore them to the way they once were. Then, they will serve as the foundation for reviving the nation of Kanria. Isn't that what we want? After all, there can be no nation without a people. Do they have a chance? <laughs> it is the height of foolishness. They have no chance of success. Not even a 1% chance. I told you already that no one knows this curse better than I, having lived with it for 500 years. There is no redemption. There is no undoing the curse. Trying to remove it by force will achieve nothing but to inflict further suffering. So make sure you are clear in your mind. You have to tell yourself, they are no longer human. If you cling to false hope and allow yourself to become too emotionally invested, the only way is down. You will end up just like them, mired in hypocrisy. Save your strength for something worth saving. Why should I believe you? Oh? <laughs> but of course. I am merely someone you hired for a task, while he is your brother. It is only natural for you to side with him. But whatever decision you make cannot deter me from mine. My chosen path is to stop the Abyss. If we have reached an impasse, then perhaps this is where we should say... I choose to believe you. But that doesn't mean I completely trust you. I see. Oh my god, here's another one of these things. Both of them are one sentence. It should just be one choice combined. Anyways, a 1% chance for redemption. Uh, again, another one. Uh, well, actually, even the first one could have... Or wait. I don't know. Which one am I supposed to choose? They're exactly the same. It's literally the same sentence. Same sentence. Uh, writers, do you guys have any clue what you're actually writing in this game? Please. Please. 
you know, actually, you know, this, this is ridiculous. Anyways, both statements in one. Oh my, every single one. Literally, every single one is, is, is one sentence. I mean, because if, if, if I was to say all this in one sentence without just, just, just using only the answers I would choose, you know how stupid and messed up that sounds? Come on. Come on, writers. Use some common sense here and stop with the, uh, putting the same, uh, same one sentence across two different choices. That's so stupid. Anyways, again, top one since they're the same thing. And since, of course, our choices don't really matter, but still. It seems that the three questions I put to you on our first meeting were worthwhile. You have developed your own individual views on this world. Very well. Since you have volunteered your true thoughts on this matter, I shall not hide mine from you. Right now, I have a more immediate agenda than stopping the abyss. That is to say, the Abyss's actions here directly dishonor the final wishes of Halfdan and my other compatriots. I cannot allow this to proceed. Then let's stick together for this one. The Abyss may appear at any moment. Be on your guard at all times as we proceed. Oh, I just feel like jumping. Okay, but anyways, um... Well, this actually puts in perspective a lot of things as to why the brother is working with the Hilly Churls slash, um... Mage Abysses, uh... No, I mean, sorry, slash mages slash, uh, bad guys. Slash monsters. Wait, watch out! Ah! What's going on? Is that light coming from the room in the center? It's too bright! The mutation is continuing. Has the abyss made its move already? Dean Sith, I see your incessant meddling continues, and that you have once again joined forces with our Highness's kin. Regrettably, I was not in time to control your exit from the network, and it sent you here of all places. <laughs> this was a catastrophic error. <laughs> I am surprised that you dare to face me. You ran like a coward last time. Our Highness's will must be done. All interferences must be removed, whatever the price to pay. This time. The curse that torments our people must be undone, once and for all. You are the only ones who torment them. There is nothing else left of those hilly churls. Nothing besides the curse itself. Say what you wish. I am going nowhere, Dainsliff. Then you will give your life just to delay the inevitable. How absurd. But since you wish to persist, then so be it. You really think you can use that device beneath the pool to cleanse this curse? Do not underestimate the ways of the abyss. I stand for my unending effects of the water, not in but a hundred gold. Then I overestimated you. This plan is even cruder than I thought. Take 
shall rise. You've been hunting this abyss herald for ages. Now you finally got him. There's no time to celebrate. The abyss order's device is activating, but there's still time to destroy it. Wait, so that one guy's finally gone? You're kidding. All right, let's go. I'm surprised they didn't put a cutscene with that. Uh, is it just me, or is more visible? Oh, it's because of the light. And why did I just go in here? Oh. Yep, he's defeated. Wow. So we just took out one of the, the big bad guys. If you ever want to trade... To Yeah, good thing we have this way whoa waypoint set up. Uh that's a portal. And this thing activates the portal. What? So am I able to go through this? I'm guessing it's gonna put me on the other side, right? I knew it. Okay. Portals all over the place, and hello, who are you? He looks new. Look, the amplification device. I thought he would have been turned to ashes in an instant. Halfdan's soul is extraordinarily resilient. Meddling fool! Encumber us no more! Don't you have a greater encumbrance to worry about? Come on! This is your grand opportunity to get rid of me! Take him out and deactivate the device! Well, that was extremely sad. And I'm too far. Too far, that was stupid. Ow. The gifts of grace be with you. Coming to Dawn. Surrender. All times, perfect timing to use uh, her um, ultimate there. Crap! 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 And stamina.
Uh, we have to shut down the portals. The cleansing won't have any effect on me. No. As long as the device is active, the cursed are rendered powerless. Only you can take on the abyss. If you value his sacrifice, then do not waste any more time here. See all these rays of light and portals. They must have installed several of these energy devices in various locations. Find them, quickly! So, we have to go through these abyss portals? Uh, hey, fight for Paimon! And up we go. Oh, okay. Now you have to physically touch it. I mean, um, not physically touch it. I meant to say hit the button on it. You can't physically go through it. Whoa, look back here. Wow. Hey, hello. Hey, fire and ice. What's this? Doink. Oh, uh, well, it did a good deal of damage to the one, not the other. Okay, so how do we shut this thing down? Really? Makes sense. Have to destroy it like that. Oh, not again. Had I known this, I would have switched over to a water character. Oh, wait a minute. You're. Oh, then this will work. Okay, hang on. Ooh. 
Ooh, that was close. trying to think how to get up there. Oh, here we go. sensation has indeed stopped. So, we managed to stop the Abyss Order's plan? Again, here we go, same sentence. Literally, you say that in front of this one. This is actually, you know what, when you think about it, it's actually lazy. It's extremely lazy. Instead of putting two actual different choices, they're just taking one sentence and splitting in two, making you think, oh, you're, you're, yeah, so that, that's what it is. It's laziness. All right, when was the first one, since it's the same, it's, it's the same sentence. Let me check. Dane must be really upset. Of all the ways to be reunited with one of his former comrades after so long, this is rough. He's standing right there. He can hear you, Paimon. You're just making things worse for him. Let's go. Huh? Huh? Light. Apologies, Captain Dainsliff, Twilight Sword. Back then, I failed you and failed to protect our people. <laughs> no. For 500 years, you have faithfully done your duty. To this day, I am proud of you all. <sighs> Henria didn't fall, did it? 
since you're still here. Correct. So, no need to revive the homeland. More than one kind of strange power exists here. Souls are no strange sight under the circumstances. Still, if you intend to venture deeper in and continue your investigation, you ought to be careful. <coughs> you bet! We'll be super careful! Oh, but dang! Does this mean you're not coming with us? That device took a severe toll on me. It will take me some time to recover. Oh, right. Well, actually, Baimon already knew that. You've clearly been pushing through the pain this whole time. You've earned a good rest, Dane. Oh, you should take a vacation! Vacation? <laughs> the very notion. This word has no business being in my vocabulary. There are more important things that demand my attention. The Loom of Fate operation is still underway. And I suspect that these amplification devices are connected to that plan. We'll talk more next time, after you've recovered. Thank you for understanding. I only hope that next time we meet, you know whose side you're on. Sheesh! He sure knows how to hold a grudge! Saving that snide remark right until the end? Well, shame that we didn't get to see your brother again. But at least we learned some useful info, huh? As long as you keep pressing on with your journey, you guys will definitely meet again. And everything will be back to normal. Right? Oh, Paimon almost forgot. The real reason we came here was to investigate what was going on with the hill trills, wasn't it? We've probably seen enough to report back to the miner now, but... Ugh... How are we going to explain it to him? This is all way too complicated for regular people to understand. Uh, eh, we'll figure it out. Just don't forget about the commission when we're done here. You could just... Oh, hey, look at that! Chapter 2, Act 4, complete. Which means... You know exactly what that means, right? The forest of change. It's time to go to Samiru! Ah, yay! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but seriously though, yay! Oh, my expedition reward. Oh, I forgot to do that. Okay. Uh, now wait, 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 wait. Something, something, something's going on here. What is, what is this? What's with all this, huh? What, 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 what is this? Hmm. Actually, that's a very good question. What in the world just happened? Does it have something to do with this? Through. Oh wait, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, through the mist, through mist of smoke and forest dark, chapter 3, act 1, force of change. Go to the land of the Dendro Archon. You and Paimon arrive in Samaru, and you prepare to find a way to get an audience with the lesser Lord Kasani? Sanali? Kasan I don't know. Uh, forest, okay. Now, where would that be at, specifically? So I know for future reference. Uh, there. Oh. I don't know why I was expecting to be at, like, here. Okay, well. There's that. Um. Wait, what's this? Perilous Trail Interlude Act Chapter Act 2. The unexpected guest. Complete other quest to continue. What? Uh, chapter one, number six. Two. 
Let's see. Uh, I don't even have the the first one there. Wait, I R A C U. Okay, hold on. I R A. We have this one. That's that's the one with the Raiden Shogun. But I don't know what the other one is. Oh wait, in the Oh wait, 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 wait. Let me reread this Raiden Shogun one. Oh, and that's even Act One there. That's not even and yet yeah, we need to comp complete Act Two of that. But then Taurus No Taurus oh, Who could that be? Uh, you know what? This would actually help if I did that. Oh my god, why didn't I do that sooner? <laughs> oh crap. Uh, I don't know why I never did that before. Okay, so I'm just confused right now. What else is there with the lower levels? Unless it has to do with the girl. Any other questions that haven't been answered? Because, see, that's an Archon quest. We need to do that. And I'm thinking it might also get in the way of Chapter 3. Because, look, it says Interlude Chapter Act 2. That tells me it's before Chapter 3. Uh, chapter 3. Interlude Chapter Act 2. Ah, see... Oh, wait, yes, uh, interlude chapter, that's when we worked on the Jade Chamber. Yeah, that was a very important point. Great, so you're telling me, before we go to Samaru, because we've been doing this all in order, because I, again, I could have skipped half the, the second half of the chasm, but we, we did that instead, you know, so we could finish the chasm now, the main story, and then I worked on the, the Traveler stuff, trying to do this all in order, <laughs> and now you're telling me I have to do two side quests? Oh, look at this! It's pointless to try to collapse these. Look, they're all open again. Oh, for crying out loud. No wonder I probably didn't do this before, because it's pointless. Why even ask me to collapse it if, if you're not going to stay collapsed? That makes no flipping sense. But yeah, it seems we have to do this first. Even though, yes, we have access to the other thing. But then again, I don't know how long it's going to take. Ugh! We still need to do the stupid, stinking uh, events, and I can't miss out on them. Come on, game developers. <sighs> Alright, it means we have to work on this, but I gotta, I gotta find out right now what is this other quest. So BRB, I'm gonna have to look it up on the internet and find out uh, what this I-R-A-C-U-N-D-U-S, whatever that word is. Uh, that's ta ta Taurus? I think, no. Taurus. Maybe it's, no, Taurus? Taurus? I don't know. Uh, whatever that word is, and then chapter, act one. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta find out what that is. So, uh, BRB. You have got to be kidding me. <sighs> Whoops, I went in the wrong, well, if you ever want to yeah. Tactics. Should've stayed in here, then went here, and then, uh, this one. Wait, what? 
Okay, uh, where's Act 1? Oh, wait, it says... Oh, no, no, that is... Oops, I'm on the wrong one. I was looking at the... Um, that is Act 1's complete the... Complete the... My god, everything with this game! You gotta complete this for this, you gotta complete that for that, you complete the... What the flying... My god, now I gotta look this one up! Yes, because we have to do this and then that, and then this and then that. Just let me do the flipping stuff! <sighs> D-R-A-C-A-E-N-A-S-O-M-N-O-L Whoops, did I type that right? O-L... Yeah, E-N-T-A. What is this? Um, how do you unlock? Let's see, which... Which way? Story key to unlock... Oh my god! Okay, so get this, get this. To, to do this one here, you're gonna love this. To do this one with him, you know, the, the, his, his, his story quest, you have to complete this one. Oh yeah, it said it right there on the screen. I didn't even realize that at the bottom. Okay, and let's see, to complete hers, we have to complete hers. So we literally have to do this, hers first, then hers, then his, and then that one. Apparently, I guess we skip her. Do we? Oh, thank God. Uh, yeah, so we have to do it in that order. This one, this one, this one, and then that one. However, there's a downside to this, though. Um... Because... I... Oh, wait, no, 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 I have three keys. Okay, we're good, we're good. Yeah, one, two, yeah. Okay, I have three keys at the top. Oh, good. I was gonna say we'd have to wait even more days beyond... Okay, so we're gonna have to rush through. Well, let's see. Normally, my track record is I can normally complete a full one of these story side quests, these things, in an entire episode. So we're talking one, two, three, four, four more episodes before I can then go to the Perilous Trail quest. And then who knows how long that's gonna flip and take. I don't want to miss out on the one event. Okay, I might have to break rules here. And we still haven't figured out what that blue thing is yet. But the problem is, in order to do this, I need to reveal the map. I have to, I, I, I need to be able to see the map in order to do this. <sighs> okay, you know what? I figured it out. I'm calculating this all in my head. Here is the exact order we're going to do everything. This is going to get a little screwy. <sighs> First, I'm going to leave the chasm. We're going to quickly attend this expedition reward so I can get that off the, the screen. Then, we're going to go around in, uh, sorry, Sumeru. And we're gonna- I'm gonna try my hardest not to look around <laughs> as much as we can. And we're going to try, within one episode's length, starting in a few minutes here, and probably going into definitely next episode, uh, we're going to go around and open up the entire map. Okay? We're gonna get all the waypoints done that I'm allowed to get done. Okay? Once we have opened up the map, then we will work on the Lost Riches event, because I can't miss out on this event. There's no way. Time is running out. I don't want to miss out on this. And I've already gone through so much before this. It's not even funny, so yeah. Um, I'm fighting my way to the to get to this. Anyways, once we are able to complete the lost trip... Sorry, lost riches. I had to double check. Lost riches event... Then, we will then move... Well, see, I'm not sure if it's... One a day. See, that's why I'm... I'm I, we gotta get to this ASAP, because if this... It says now I have 11 days left. If it is truly one per day, which I, I don't know, something seemed off about that. Um... Hmm. 
I don't see it there though. I I know we read it in the the read up. Uh, sorry, write up. <laughs> I said that wrong. Uh, I know because I even showed it right on camera, so I could show exactly what I was talking about. Um, it's not here though. But it said something about like different days. I and yeah, I never saw that with the actual thing. But either way, we have. Oh, you know what? All right, let's get out of here. Uh, we'll we'll have to figure this thing out later. So. Don't worry, we'll, we'll be coming back here. Besides, we got to come back here later down the road anyways. We continue working on all the side quests and all the other stuff. So, yeah. What's this on Mondstadt? Why is it showing from Mondstadt when it's in some... Oh, you know what? I know why. Because it's just we don't have Samaro unlocked yet on the this thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's my best bet? I guess... Here, I guess. Alright, so from this point for the next, like, few hours, I guess, uh, however, you know, I'm assuming maybe an episode and a half or two episodes here, starting now, uh, we're gonna be doing a lot of exploring. But when I mean exploring, I mean as in the Penny Tour, as in the, uh, we're just gonna be running from way, waypoint. To waypoint essentially but you know trying to turn the camera here and there to look around but yeah that's that's where we're at right now as the game tries to load come on game you can do it load please I know normally I stand in the spot for a bit come on we're in a hurry come on come on come on, come on. okay wait is my health yeah okay let me get uh oh wait a minute you know what yeah Let's get um, Seiyu so she can help us out. Drat. You caught me. Is there somebody else I can use for? Wait. I can't. Remember. She um, Kali was was uh, gliding, right? Oh, I went the wrong way. You dingbat. Uh, yeah, gliding. Okay, she was gliding. I. <laughs> Are they ones? I know I have two characters though for the stamina. There's this guy here, uh, Kaya, and there should be somebody else. Where are you at? Whoops. No, that's for a certain point. Gliding. Ah, here. <gasps> yes, it's you. Good. Perfect. Okay, you are going to be on the team. You know what? Maybe I'll switch say you with him. Yeah, because you know what? I doubt there's going to be that much flat land anyways to to support say you's rolling ability. We'll, we'll be ca catching on everything. So it might be actually better if we do bring Got a problem you can't solve. Clue me in. Um I need to give him a name. Air dude? <laughs> no. Um, I don't know. We we got we gotta come up with a name for this guy. Alright, uh yeah. Let's do this. Recently I've been using Seiyu and I shouldn't. I should just keep picking people off the, uh, you know, the first couple selection there so I can just rush through that. What was that? Oh. Okay, so I guess this would be the closest point. Now, of course, yes. Uh, this starting point here, I might maybe could have been better off to of say you but once we get into Samaru then no say you will not be that good for right now maybe later once we've learned the map and everything and know you know where to uh, where we can roll where we can't roll and such
It's finally time to start seeing new places in Samaritan. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna need Kali. <sighs> Let's give up Aika for right now. I'll ensure your safety. Because I think my best bet would definitely make sure to have fire, because, you know. Sorry, once in a blue moon, I gotta do something of a puzzle. Ha! <laughs> and then go, go figure this one, I don't see the... Oh, there it is. Well, this is it. This is this is the very episode, episode twenty of season five, that we're finally, officially, whoa, going into Samaru. What? in the world? That's like the big creature, but... Oh, I see. It's like, I, I see how it's laying there. But it's like a merchant. What? Oh, my God. It's, it's with her, I think. Or no. Is it? Oh, shoot! Heads up. Oh crap. Ow. Believe it or not, that was actually a little difficult trying not to hit him because I actually don't want to take him down. And he's ticked. Even though it doesn't matter, she doesn't have to be in there for the slower stamina, but still. I mean, she doesn't have to be the one gliding for the slower stamina, but... Yeah. Whenever I do use the ability, I normally tend to use the character that has the ability. Wait a minute, this means... Hold on, gotta switch characters for a minute. This world is... Yes, you should know what this means. Whoa. Wait, what's this? Wait, what? The Electro Reservoir is right there? Oh my god! We were standing like right next to it, so to speak. It must be underground. Because we were like right here somewhere. Else. Originally, when we uh, were looking over the map and stuff. But I can't believe how close the uh, Electro Re Reservoir was. Palace of blah 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 blah. 
Okay. Uh, alright, so we need to go this place next. Eh? What were those? Did you see them? I saw them. Little round plant like things, right? Gone, just like that. We should ask around when we get a chance. Oh, come on. I was trying to get up there to see. Hold on. There. Resonate with Dendro. The essence of Flora. Ooh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Depending on how this works, I might be keeping Dendro on uh, on the traveler. I don't know. I don't know. I, I, we got we got to find out. Okay, so what do we got here? <sighs> Generate. Okay, energy. All right. Uh, durations increase. Okay, so the one thing. <clears throat> oh wait, no, that's the duration. Oh, okay. I was thinking about that one. No. Um, lamp. Hang on. Okay, so we got the that, and then. Okay, where's your glass blade? Well, let's see, that could be helpful. That could be really, really helpful. And then, Surgeon Manifestation. Lamp Attack. Lamp Duration. Oh, there's that, I think, right? The one thing. Explosion, tech damage, cooldown, two. Create a lamp and I'll do so and then add five. Huh. Obtain one level of second sound. Interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Okay, so instead of 12 seconds, I'll be up to 15 seconds. Okay, increases the level. Uh, triggers less. Less Let's have passive talent first. Okay, Vern Overgrowth. That was the. Yes, this one. Um. Hmm. Increases the level there, and then what's the final one? Dendro. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Either way, it it does sound like we'd be able to have a little bit more power using this, uh, using Dendro versus say. Um, Air, since air, since um, the air ability for her is just very, very weak nowadays, uh, <laughs> doesn't hold up. Whereas, I mean, yes, 
whenever you're using it with other elements and stuff, yes, it can do some damage, but still nothing. I mean, nothing. And she, she's so far behind my other characters. Whereas this, even though it would be like the air, because the dendro will combine with the other elements. Well, not all, but some, like definitely electric and fire and what was, there was a third one, I think. Oh, and fire, and fire, okay. Electric. Wait, no, I, did, I said fire was in. Electric? What did I say then, a minute ago? Before, I must have said fire twice then. Because I never said hydro. Did I? Did I say water? No, I did not say water. I must have fired twice. Like, well, wait a minute. What? What am I missing here? Oh, because it can't come out with that. Can't come out with that. Interesting. Well, in my case, having her on the team would mean it would be good with Yenfei and Beto. It just wouldn't do anything for, um... Aika. Okay, so... that looks good. Wow, 20! Okay then. Let's test this out. Whoa! Okay, it's official. I'm keeping the dendro. Yeah, definitely. Because the 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 air, it just pretty much tickled the enemies. And besides, this way with keeping dendro, I get to keep green on the screen. Yeah. Okay, I'll see myself out now. It's really cool that as we walk, we're actually like lighting up on the, the, the ground. The ground, I mean the ground's lighting up is what I meant to say. In other words, it reminds me of Avatar. Okay, we're going to take a quick little peek at uh, the city over here real quick. We're not going to go in. We're just going to take a peek. Just so we have an idea what we're looking at. Okay, well, I'm going to need to get a little closer so we can at least see everything load in. Because it seems to have trouble loading. See, Sumeru is, as I said this a couple episodes ago, or maybe... Yeah, a couple of episodes ago. Um, as I was talking about the PS5, this one region is where I kind of wish I had a PS5 right now. Just to be able to handle all this. Yeah, because see, like, that, that's how it's supposed to look right there. Alright, look, look how the detail, everything from this distance, okay? Yeah, as soon as I unload from this picture, you're not going to see all that. Unless it's loaded in by now, but still, when we were coming up on it now. Okay, well, yeah, you pretty much see it now because it was loading. But seriously, when we were coming down the hill, you didn't see it, okay? And see, look, there's even some more stuff loading in. No, 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 no. Let's not get any closer because I don't want to trigger any any uh, quests. Ooh. Yeah, because see, I'm, I'm starting to get some frame rate lag here. It's real tiny, but still. Uh-huh, if only the PS5... Cause I know this game does have PS. Oh, see, look, look at uh, uh, deloading um, or unloading. Look, look at that. Go whoop. Uh, but I know that the PS5 has enhancements for this game, so I fully want to believe that. Like when we were coming up on there, like from here, I should be able to see the detail. I think. I hope. <laughs> ah, here's our new enemies. Oh, this is cute. 
Okay, that guy's the archer. Oh, okay, so we get uh, the archer form. And then, I don't know what... Wait, these weapons are new. Don't shoot me. Faded red satin. Huh. Hey, stop shooting. Me. <laughs> Remarkable chest. Where have you been hiding? Wait, what? I got a um an item for the teapot. You're kidding. I wasn't expecting that. Okay, that's it. I'm going to need to, uh... Somehow find some money and... <laughs> somehow find a PS5 and... What the hey is this? Oh my god, they look evil! Dreadful Withering. The withering is not a fixed location. Instead, it refers to areas that have been corroded by some sort of mysterious and ominous power. In these areas, characters will accumulate decay. The speed of this accumulation will differ depending on the withering zone you're in. Dreadful Withering. Depending on how much decay you have accumulated, all your party members will have their... Uh, all element resistance, physical resistance, and match... Uh, mac the max HP decreased. These stats will decrease more in accordance with the amount of decay occurred. You're joking. If you remain within withering zones after you fully accumulate decay, all your party members will fall. Okay, so moments like that you need um, Barbara, essentially. This is like a, yeah, it's almost like a reverse uh, effect with um, Dragon Spine. We always had to worry about um, freezing to death. Now... We have to worry about decaying to death. <laughs> uh, you must use the power of the Dendrograna to clear the withering away. Only via this method can you destroy the withering branches that spread this corrosive power. Only when all the withering branches within a withering zone are destroyed can the tumor of the withering at the beating heart of the area be destroyed. Most withering zones can be destroyed this way. in this way, but... There's a but in there. Uh-oh, that's a big but. Uh, within the withering zones, candles of life and flames of life may appear and help to decrease the accumulation of decay. Prepare for the worst before entering the withering zones. Oh, well, how did I know this was a withering zone? There was no no, no sign back there that said, Danger! Withering zone ahead! Uh, okay, so within the withering zones... Okay, so these things here... Okay, okay, okay so that's just like... Uh, it's exactly like... Dragon Spine. You go up to one of these things and it, it lowers your... Okay, that that's understandable. And then these looking things are the things I have to destroy. Uh, okay, and look for that. And okay, yeah, so... Now I wonder if they stay destroyed for good or if eventually they come back. That part wasn't entirely once I'm clear and... Ooh, look, they're... No, wait, they're no longer... Um, have the red eyes. What the hey? Ow. Ow. Dangers within the withering zone. There are other perils within withering within the withering zones apart from decay. Monsters that have been corroded by this environment and uh stuff that grow in the area will attack characters within causing decay to, to accumulate okay that's kind of a interesting Im image there with the big monster running what is that though in front I can't I can't make that out though that the red blast happening in front of the monster is that a person jumping that's too small to be someone. 
It's not an attack, is it? That's kind of weird. I... I literally cannot make out that image. You know, of whatever the... what's inside the, the red blast there. Everything else I can see. Hold on. Is it just me, or does the tra the b which I'm assuming that's yeah, the boy traveler? Does his hair look long, or what? What am I seeing behind his head? Off to the left. If you follow the the color there, I can't zoom in any farther. Uh, I see his head, but then there's like something that's also almost same color as his hair. It's going backwards, like as if he had long hair. Hold on, let me see. Oh, you're kidding me! I. Wait, so the boy traveler has a ponytail? Well, this is news to me. <laughs> I mean, hey, I don't have the, the that character, so how was I supposed to? I didn't know he, he had a, had that. Yes, yeah, so that's what we're seeing in the back. That's his long hair. Okay, yeah, I. how was I supposed to know? Come on. Uh, in addition, the tumor of the withering will exhort disciples of decay to come forth and attack. These are monsters who have utterly fallen under the influence of the Withering and have the protection of the Withering against damage. Use Dendro or Dendro Grana to effectively destroy the shields guarding these monsters. Okay, so let me just reread that in English. Uh, let's see. Okay, so basically, once you're in the the Withering Zone, they will actually spawn special monsters. That already fully control of the withering, you know, basically all the, the status effects and stuff, and have the protectioning, or sorry, protection of the withering against regular damage. So you have to, at that point, you have to use Dendro or Dendro Grana, which I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. I need to look that up later. Because uh, I'm not actually sure what Dendro Grana is. But, anyways, use Dendro essentially to effectively destroy the shield. Guarding the monsters. Okay, so. Alright. Can I destroy you? No. I have to destroy the small pieces. These are the. Okay, this is the part I'm supposed to destroy. Right? No. Nope. I guess we don't destroy them. Uh, Houston, I'm confused. I thought it said in the one thing... Oh, hold on. Beer B. Okay, I'm back, but we are going to have to end soon. I did not realize what time it was. <sighs> Alright, what's this? Uh, oh yeah, that's the thing we picked up earlier. And yeah. Okay, Dendrograna. So that's why I need to look up. I need to look up what Dendrograna is. So I remember reading about the, the Dendro... Yeah, yeah, okay, so... <clears throat> uh, should I only... Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember the rest. But the Dendrograna part, what the hey is that? Uh, you know what? If only I would look that part up while I was on the BRB. What is... Dendrograna... It says when charged attack or aim shots hits opponents while you are carrying Dendrograna, the Dendrograna will attack this. Oh, Dendrograna is just like the Electrogran and oh, I'm I'm an idiot. It it just now dawned on me what that is. Essentially, oh there it is right there. Summon. Aha! Here we go. And I guess no. Oh, 
Ooh, there we go. Fungus. A monster. A mon <laughs> a monster. <laughs> it's a monster. A monster with basic intelligence that evolved from spores. When first hit by electro or pyro attacks, it will enter either an activated or scorched state based on the elemental attack type used. Defeat this transformed fungus to obtain different types of rewards. Hmm. Ow! Whoa, 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 whoa! <gasps> no, she's dead! Burn, you biscuit! Really? I have to use... Hold on. Maybe if... Does it have to be the bow? You're joking, right? I don't believe this. Why is it not working with anything but the bow? Okay, one of the things we desperately, desperately need to find. Wait, did I lose the... Oops. Uh, one thing we desperately need to find when we uh, go through this map... Is this boss... And... Oh, no, we can get that. Uh, maybe we're to find some of those. But mainly this boss. Okay, we need to find that boss. That's so I can take on the boss and level her up. Because she's pretty much my only hope in terms of Dendro. I mean, yes, the Traveler, but apparently I can't use the Traveler with... Whoa! Uh-oh. Oh, for crying out loud. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Wait, what are these? Can we get rid of this stupid little thing? Oh, hey, her, her, her special. I mean, her ultimate. Uh, let's, let's see what this does. Okay, you there, and come over here. Come over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I need to see how this works. Whoa. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, I see how that works. That is nice. Okay, it's official. It is official. It's totally official. Traveler is from now on Dendro. Case closed. No answers or buts about it. I finally found something to transform the Traveler into that I can actually use. Now, I'm not saying Traveler is going to be part of the main team or anything, but, you know, since we always do like to use, um, powerful Raiden Shogun, uh, but... Okay, what, what am I missing here? What am I missing? Oh! Now this is just sad. Ooh, now it's beautiful here. <gasps> Ooh, and we get chest for doing that. Okay. Nice. I'm starting to lose count. Oh, Nito. Oh, I never. Even, oh, you know, I never even really looked up. Oh man, I didn't. I thought we were. Oh boy. Oh boy. I had no idea that there was. I thought we were going through like a tunnel or something. Wow. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, I think it darkened the sky. You know what? 
I'm so lost right now, I'm confused. Uh, <laughs> okay, after this episode, I've got to look at that spot. Wait, wasn't there something else I was supposed to look at for this episode? Oh, see, if I don't put a note down, I forget. You know what, as long as I can remember to look at that... If you ever want to trade tactics... The whatever we were just under... Uh, then that'll be good enough. Alright, try Yana Seeds. Just as the try ya Yakshana creatures have a normal scorched and activated form, these try Yana Seeds, which can reveal hidden objects, have similar states. When scorched, they will stop moving. When And when normal, they will move along with a fixed path. When activated with Electro, they will release an even larger tr True Sense... Yeah, True Sense Pulse. True Sense Pulse. I don't know. Uh, it says just like the Tri... Yak uh, like, I'm supposed to know what the Tri Yakshana is. And they're already on this. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. But anyways, it says, uh, Scorch means stop moving. Normal means they'll move fixed path. And Electro release Pulse. Hmm. Okay, well, test. That was stupid. Uh, okay, can you come back over here for a minute? Pretty, pretty, please. Got him. The seen and unseen. When tri blah, 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 creatures are activated and using Electro, they will unleash a true sense pulse that which, or sorry, that may be able to display a location of certain hidden objects. What? You're kidding. Oh, like this thing. Well, I don't know if that was it, but still. <clears throat> okay, I love the bridge. And I'm afraid to find out how we're supposed to open up this thing. Wait. There. Hi, <laughs> so cool. So, so cool. Okay, but seriously, what, what's going on here? Nothing? Maybe I have to just interact with stuff. You know, I'm not gonna try to figure it out right now. All I know is that this place is beautiful. <gasps> and there's the big tree. Okay, let's at least make it to their next destination. The the next um, map point. Uh, Statue 7, you know. Uh, and then as soon as we make it there, we'll open up the map, and then that'll be it for this episode, okay? That would be it. Happy to apply. No, 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 no. I don't want to fight you guys right now. We're on an important mission. To reveal the map. And look at the beautiful scenery. Good gosh. Oh. It just dawned on me. I'm like, why is my stamina going down so fast? It's like, yeah, I forgot to switch back to the cockta. <laughs> Oops. Send one, send Noops! No! How the hell did I. Let's move. Yeah, I hit the X button a hair too soon and it just. Wait, do you have to really be a specific spot? We. I want to go up that tree. I want to go there. But not yet. We can't go there yet. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, and there's an enemy up there. That's cute. Wait, why is there a door here, but there's not a door here? It's like, tell me this is a door without telling me this is a door. I don't think that's the proper phrase for that. But still, it. bottom line is, like, oh, hello. What is this? Oh, I didn't even push the button. It literally just went right into it. A strange energy, energy extraction device. The energy extractor device within the... I'm not saying it. They want me to say it. I need a new name for these guys. Uh, 
within the bad guys camp seems to serve some unspeakable purpose you must look for a control key somewhere in the surrounding rooms to shut down however even the smallest movement might interrupt the termination yeah termination sequence so make sure to keep the area free of obstruction till the machine shuts down wait what Oh, okay. Well, well, let's just get out of there. We don't have time for that right now. But anyways, yes. I already mentioned, like, what? An episode or two now. Um, many episodes ago. Why I'm not going to call them the names that they are. Forget it. I already explained my case. I'm not going to explain it again. So, we need a name for them. Because I even said back then, I said, we need a nickname. And I completely forgot to try to give them a nickname. Wait a minute, does... Does Celestia look a little different? Also, I just realized I forgot to switch my, um... My gadget and I... Oh, come on, stop hitting the wrong button. Uh... Does it look different? You know what? We're closer! We're actually closer to Celestia! We're looking plant? What do you mean we're looking plant? Um. Charge, please. Bring it on! There we go. Doesn't work that way. I had to try. Bouncy mushrooms. The species of bouncy mushroom is a type of tri blah, 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 creature. Under normal circumstances, you can jump on it to be bounced up high, bounced up to higher heights. It's elastic. Elasticity will be further increased after you have activated it using Electro. Huh. Uh, this species. Oh, it says the same thing. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So, wait, what if we try it like. If we try to do it like this? Nothing. Okay. So, then Electro. Um. Game, why are you lying to me? And what the hey happened here? Look at this thing! It's like the plant didn't load or something. <laughs> I know that's not the case. I'm just saying. Like, woo, look at that. Wait, is that out of bounds? Oh, that's out of bounds. You've got to be kidding me. But still. Oh, clouds, please. You're in my way. Celestia. We're actually closer to Celestia. I don't believe it. That means it's not just a picture up there. It's actually up there. I don't believe this. I literally don't believe this. Which means, to get closer and closer and closer to Celestia, we need to essentially go, I guess, up here. Oh, no. Did I? Wait, 127. One oh my god, I did put him up there. Uh oh. I now have two markers. Oh, three. Oh, I can see them now. Whew! <laughs> that scared the kittens out of me. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. <laughs> oh, that would have been a bad thing. Oh my god. Okay, so, anyways, uh, so basically, we need to have this area up here unlocked in terms of a map, whatever region they add up there, in order for us to be directly underneath Celestia. That's insane. Yeah, that is completely insane. I don't believe it. All this time, I've always thought it was just a picture up there. Wisp, you're taking me off track here. Nice. 
It's like, why must you distract me? What is that? Oh, that's cute. Now there's a wolf down there. I am not dealing with that right now. Forget it. We need to get to the... Oh, you're joking. It's all the way over there? Okay, I'm running. I'm running. You know what? Maybe say you could have been used for quite a lot of this. I thought it was going to be more like stepping over the, um, roots and stuff. You know, constantly that, that kind of stuff. But yeah, I'm seeing quite a bunch of spots here where um, we could totally use say you. Oh, hold on, BRB again. Okay, back, and we really, 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 really need to pick up the pace. I'm not joking. I looked at the clock again. Haha, <laughs> yeah! Uh, clock is saying now. Um, how do I get over there as fast as humanly possible? <laughs> Wait, are those NPCs? Are they bad guys? No, they're... Oh, they are... Oh, and they're bad No, 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 no. Whoops. I forgot I don't have, um... Aika. Shoot. Oh, I didn't have any stamina to continue that. That was dumb. Very dumb on my part. Okay, so it looks like there's some kind of a city over there as well. I think. Ooh, look at that. Wait, if I can get the camera right. There it goes. Look at that. What is that? Oh, I'm too far now. I can't. It's not in loading view. Oh man, I really wanted to see what that was. Okay, hey, look at this. We're almost there. And we're gonna get another part of the map opened up. And wow. Well, what is this? Uh-oh. No. Uh-oh, that's a ruin guard. Forget it. Nope. Run away. Hey! The environment... Oh, you know what? Here's what it... The wither. Oh, okay. So that's what that's like. I was waiting for it to clear up. wonder what's all that over there. And map, reveal to me your secrets. Oh. <gasps> Will you look at that? It didn't reveal this spot here. Ooh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Okay. Oh, hey, look, it's the boss. Uh, next episode, we must go after that, okay? Next episode, definitely. Alright, now if I look in that direction, I'm looking over here. You know what? Look, it's. Whoa, the map kind of freaked out there. That's the desert. That means the desert's going to be added later on. So the desert's not even in the game yet. Well, that'd be nice because, um... I was originally saying, like, the map did feel a little small if it was both the desert and, uh, uh the, the jungle. So, yeah. All right, well, anyways, we got to end here. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so anyways, this is going to be it for episode 20 of season 5 of Genshin Impact. We'll, of course, be back next time with episode 21, where we'll continue going over the map. 
and uh, definitely tackle that boss, and also try to see how much of the desert we can see. So yeah, that'll be all in next episode, so look forward to that. But anyways, again, it's going to be it for this episode, so until next time, keep on gaming. There's a distance between us It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in seasons But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down but I'll stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting days to get away I know I'm not always strong